Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, here we are, a nice little controversial topic that a lot of people might not even really care about because of the calibers, but is 32 ACP better than 380 ACP? Well, at first blush I say no. But despite that, I like 32 ACP better. Let me explain. 380 ACP is more powerful than 32 ACP. Um, even I think if you get the weakest 380 and the best 32, 380 is still more powerful than 32 ACP. They're both also center fire cartridges, so it's not like you have a center fire and a rim fire where you might have some uh, some issues. Um, the other great thing about 380 is there's lots and lots of uh, handguns um, that are uh, chambered for 380, and occasionally you might even see like a carbine that is very occasionally, but occasionally. 32 ACP not as powerful. Not as many handguns uh, chambered for it. And I don't know offhand of any carbines chambered for 32 ACP. It's also, uh, I would say maybe a, a bit more expensive two than 380 ACP. So, you know, you have like 32 ACP, that's maybe a little over 100 foot pounds of energy typically. And then you have the 380 ACP, that's a little over 200 foot pounds typically. So you're getting a substantial amount of power out of that. So if the 380 is maybe, you know, a couple of cents per round cheaper, nearly twice as powerful, and has more choices to shoot from, um, why would I prefer a 32 ACP? And uh, the reason is because I don't think that a lot of 380 handguns um, complement the 380 round. Now, in front of me right here, I have a, uh, a Keltec um, P3AT, which is in 380 ACP, and then I have a Keltec uh, P32, which is in 32 ACP. Now, I've shown these before, but if you look at them, they are extremely similar. I mean, really, really close. It's almost like the same gun. I mean, they are just like if you like, I'm putting them on top of each other here, and as you can tell, the profiles, it, it's almost like. I wouldn't say they're twins, but they're, they're definitely fraternal twins who get mistaken for identical twins. I mean, it's just, it's, they're like almost the same gun, okay? Now, here's the thing with this. I fired this one for not too many rounds. I took it to the range the first time the other day. I didn't really care for it. I'll keep it, though, because I kind of like the idea of having a 380 in my collection. Even though I've had a lot of 380s in my collection. More on that later. This one right here, pretty pleasant to shoot. I've shot it on multiple occasions. Um, the thing is, this is 32 ACP. This one, 38 ACP. Excuse me, 380 ACP. Um, now, like I had said, it has more foot-pounds of energy, more velocity, yada, yada, yada. The thing is, these guns are exactly the same, or pretty close to exactly the same. I also suspect that if you were to weigh them, they'd weigh about the same thing, and they have the same dimensions. With more foot-pounds of energy, typically comes more more recoil and a little bit more um, dexterity to control. Now I have no doubt that there are some of you out there who could shoot this this 380 ACP fantastically. I have no doubt. I am not one of those people. Now you might say, well that's just because you're some weakling who can't handle uh, you know, a little more recoil. No, not really. I shoot rifle um, rifle caliber handguns and 44 magnums and 10 millimeters, I have no problem with that because they're in larger guns. Now, with the 32, I have larger hands. Look, see, I'm not, I'm not uh, lying to you. They really are a little bigger than average. And I find it very difficult to control this when I'm shooting. Um, this one, much, much easier time. Again, that's my preference. A lot of you might be fantastic with both of these. That's great. Me, I, I kind of like this one. I'm, I'm partial to this one. This one, not so much. Now, if the 380 weren't something more substantial, I think I'd like it more. The problem is, every time I buy a 380, I always tend to buy one that's polymer. I had a Pico. I did a couple of videos on the Pico. I hated the Pico. I absolutely love Berettas. Beretta is my favorite um, handgun maker. Without a doubt, hands down. Love Berettas. If you check my channel, I have several Beretta, Beretta videos. But I absolutely hated the Pico. The Pico had an even shorter grip than this. It was just horrendously bad. It sucked. 
it was the worst gun I've ever shot. Again, it sucked. So I traded in and used the money to buy a Canik. Well, toward a Canik. Then I had a first, um, well, a Ruger LCP. Um, I hated it. I, I sold it, put the money toward something else. I forget what I bought with that. Then I had a Taurus TCP. I hated it. I traded it in, bought something else. And then, in like the absolute definition of insanity, I bought this thing, which I'll probably keep keep hold of because I got it so cheap, I might as well, really. And this way, like I said, I have a 380, just to have it. Um, I don't like it. Now, this one, like I said, I have a lot better time shooting, but you know what's better than, than a nice little polymer 32? A stainless steel 32. This, if you don't know, is the Beretta Tomcat in 32 ACP. Um, this one, and by the way, everything has been safety checked and they are magazine-less. There is no magazines here. No ammunition, no nothing. So I'm safe, don't worry, and you, you cannot get shot through the camera. That's a good thing. But anyway, um, if you compare these two, let's pop them right over to each other. Um, pretty similar height. The, the, uh, the Tomcat's a little bit higher, like maybe like a sixteenth of an inch. Um, Tomcat is maybe like a sixteenth or so, or maybe a little less than a sixteenth wider. Um, they are very, very similar size-wise. Now, where the difference lies, if I show you, is uh, is the is the thickness. This is substantially thicker than um, the P32, and the grip is also more substantial. Okay, and it's actually a little bit longer too. So, whereas with this one, I kind of get that finger and a half, and then maybe like a finger and two thirds when I have the magazine in. Okay, with this one. I actually get two fingers on when I have the magazine in. And then if I have one with the little finger groove, I even get a little pinky. It welcomes the pinky. Plus we have a bit of a thicker, uh, a thicker back strap here. And then we have uh, slightly thicker um, plastic grips that came with it. And uh, there are also some that are a bit thicker. They're wooden grips, but I find that these work fine. Now this is heavier. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say this is probably 50 to 75 percent heavier than what the uh, the P32 is. Okay, so it's heavier and it's thicker. And you know what? This is even better to shoot than that. So as far as carrying goes, yeah, it's heavy. Err, it's heavier. It's a little bit thicker. So this one is is easier to conceal. Um, and if you're going to carry just one, I probably go with this one. But if you want to carry one of these as like a backup gun second gun I could see how you'd opt for this one now that brings me to this guy right here uh, the Tomcat um, is very similar to the uh, this is a 3032 I believe very similar to the Beretta 21A which is made in 22 LR and 25 ACP uh, it's it's very very similar style wise but a bit smaller uh, I have to be honest with you I would love it if they made this in a 380 ACP because I'd be very, very curious to see it because I think that with my ability to get an extra finger on, on the grip comfortably along with, you know, maybe a little bit of a pinky extension on here and the thicker grip, I think this would be a very comfortable gun to shoot in 380 even though it's very small. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, well, they make 380 guns th that are made out of steel. You're right, they do. Unfortunately, I've never had one. Maybe I should try one one of these days, instead of complaining to you guys on YouTube. What do you think? So, yeah, that's thicker. And that's the problem. A lot of these, a lot of these guns, they're very, very narrow. Um, they have, like, you know, they have a shorter grip. Um, and let's see here. It's about the same width, but you have a little bit more of a palm swell back there, I think, on the, uh, on the Tomcat. A little bit more. So, I gotta tell you. 32 ACP, 38, 380, just as reliable, maybe a penny or two around cheaper. Um, more than, almost twice as powerful, I'd probably say, on, on a typical round, but you know what? If it's in a polymer-based gun, I don't want it. Um, now, one of these days I really should try uh, 380 in a steel gun. Uh, I know Kimber makes the Micro. Um, and I believe SIG has one. The name escapes me right now. I'm not really a SIG fan, so that's probably why, but 
Now, it probably would be interesting to try, like, say, the Kimber Micro, because that's kind of similar um, to the uh, to the Beretta Tomcat. Um, maybe just a hair larger. So I, I'm thinking that that 380 would be um, a lot more comfortable for me to shoot. So that's definitely one worth trying out. But I have to tell you, if you're going to buy a Polymer 380, um, I would probably try out a friend's first. I'll go to a range and shoot one. Uh, I remember I went to the to a local gun shop and this guy was trying to talk his wife into getting a uh, a little 380 pistol. I guess she figures that because she's petite, her gun should be too. And when he said that, like, the gun owner's, like, expression just went, like, Oh, my God. You don't want that. I mean, that's that's a snappy little bastard. I mean, she probably would have been better off with, like, something, like, maybe, like, a Glock 19 or something, you know? Something that's got a little more, a little bit more size and a, a better grip. And it's not going to be quite as snappy. But some people think, Oh, little, little gun. Well... I mean, I'd rather have it than nothing in, in a, like a self-defense situation, but it's not going to be my first choice. And I mean, even if it is a second choice, because they are so tiny, I can understand understand it for a second choice. But I got to tell you, for a little gun, if if it was going to be my like my backup gun, I'm still going for this because I again, this is this is a personal preference. I feel so much more accurate with this or this than this gun right here. And like basically, like we just showed, with the exception of caliber, these are like the same gun. Uh, I just feel like it's going to jump out of my hand. And like I said, I really don't think I'm recoil sensitive, but it's just that, because it's not, it's not really that it's tough recoil. Because, I mean, 380 doesn't have a lot of recoil at all, but when you're just holding on to it with like a finger and a half, and the gun is so light, I mean, these are, these are pretty light guns, it just sucks. Now, with like, with, I say, a Ruger, let's say, the Ruger, um, LCP-1, hated it in 380, but the LCP-2 light rack in 22LR, love it. It's pretty freaking awesome. Um, I think if they made it in 32 ACP, I think I'd like it quite a bit. I don't see that ever happening. And if they ever made one in 22 mag, that would be incredible. Maybe we will see that one day. But anyway, I digress. So I hope you enjoyed my ramblings on the 32 ACP. I don't think there are too many stations talking about the 32 ACP anymore because... It's not really a dead cartridge, but I have the feeling it's headed towards life support. You know what I mean? Try and find a 32 ACP in the store. Eh, not that frequent. Especially if I've been there before you, I probably bought it. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video or want to subscribe. Talk to you later.